Hi guys, I'm Teresa Sterling, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I want to do a video that, oh, subscribe, I guess I should say that. God, I need to make an intro. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video that I haven't seen on YouTube before, uh, probably because I never searched for it, and because I just didn't really look that hard. I'm sure it exists, but I didn't really look for it. Pretty much what this video is, is a gift guide of what to ask for to get healthy after the new year. So I know a lot of people's New Year's resolutions is to be healthy for the new year, be healthy for 2019, you know, lose weight, finally tone up, get, you know, get healthy, whatever your fitness goal resolution for the new year is. I love it. I don't know why people shit on that when they're like, oh, everyone wants to get healthy for the new year. Like, why is that a bad thing? Like, let's get healthy. Like, I think that's awesome. I just wanted to show you guys gifts to ask for for Christmas to help you prepare for that, to get you ready to be healthy for the new year. And these vary in price range from super cheap all the way to pretty expensive, depending on how much you're willing to spend for somebody or how much someone is willing to spend on you. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Troy Sterling. Hope you guys stick around. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more health and fitness stuff. And if you guys are returning subscribers, hello. Welcome back. Um, let's get started. So the first thing to ask for that I think it's pretty obvious is workout clothes. Now workout clothes can range from anywhere and they can be super expensive or super inexpensive. It's really just depending on where you look and where you buy them and what you buy. My favorite workout clothes are from Forever 21 and Lululemon. I really believe in investing in good leggings at Lululemon. I think if you're gonna buy anything at Lulu, buy the leggings, you don't really need anything else. Like the shirts, yeah, they're cool. Sports bras are pretty good, but like you can get all that stuff elsewhere. So I think the leggings at Lululemon are really, really great. They aren't see-through and they're designed to really work with a woman's body. So they kind of hug you where you want to be hugged and they have size, the right features of you, and they kind of just slim and like suck everything in. I really like them. I think they absorb sweat pretty well. I do think Gymshark leggings absorb sweat a little bit better. My favorite pants from Lululemon, I love Fast and the Free for cardio, but recently my new favorites have been the In Movement, and that's because they're super high-waisted, so they don't really slip down on me. Now when it comes to like sports bras and shirts and such, I think you can get sports bras from Forever 21 for super cheap. They are amazing. I really like sports bras that like kind of double as halter tops. Sports bras are really also dependent on you. I know that like I have a very small chest so I don't really need a lot of sports bra support. So I'd really recommend workout leggings and um, sports bras and tops. So yeah, you can also ask for like a gift card to like Lululemon or Under Armour or Nike or Forever 21 so you guys can shop for your own stuff. Or a Visa gift card is really good so you can get them at multiple places. I'd kind of veer away from buying workout clothes online just because you want to know how stuff feels on your body and how it fits on your body, especially with leggings. I always recommend to try them on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to move on. But workout clothes is a really good option. The next one is wireless headphones. This has been a huge game changer because iPhones come with like those headphones that have the cord in them. But I found that as soon as I switched over to wireless headphones, it really made such a difference because I didn't have to like focus on where my phone was all the time. So my favorite pair of wireless headphones, I'm so annoying, but AirPods, I think AirPods are really, really great. And I wish I like wasn't saying this because that's such like a bandwagon thing to be like, AirPods are the best thing ever, but I really do love the AirPods. I was skeptical to get them at first though just because they're so tiny so I was like they have to get lost easily like they have to like there's no way I'm not losing this thing and also like the regular headphones that come with iPhones don't fit in my ear so I was like these definitely aren't gonna fit in my ear and they're sh for sure gonna fall out because the other ones are so big that like if I'd run with them or work out with them they would always fall out AirPods, I guess, are smaller or something because they don't ever fall out of my ear. They stay, like, so snug and so tight in my ear that I never have to worry about them falling out. But I have these with me everywhere, and it really comes in handy. So I would really, really recommend AirPods. You can also get Beats, um, but I really think AirPods are worth the investment. Sneakers is another really good gift to ask for. So um, if you're into running, I think you should definitely have your own pair of running shoes. These are the Brooks Pure Flow 6 running shoes. These are really nice. I think running shoes actually are pretty ugly. So these are like the most like attractive pair of running shoes that I found. And I think it's just important to have a specific pair of shoes just to run in. But then if you just want like regular shoes, like sneakers that you can wear every day, that you can lift in, that you can do other cardio in, like elliptical Stairmaster, all that sort of stuff, hit classes, whatever it might be. I really like Nike. Um, I have a ton of Adidas 
and I love Adidas like NMDs I think they're awesome and I think they're super stylish and super cool uh what else do I have I don't know what the other ones are called that I have but they're like kind of like a sock kind of thing by Adidas I really love those as well but I don't think they offer enough support when it comes to like working out so these by Nike I absolutely love them I don't even know what they what they are I just bought them though so they're pretty recent I have another pair of these in gray and I just think these are really great shoes to work out in all right the next one I think is super important and it's a really good gift if the person is willing to give this to you and that's gym memberships or app memberships so I know that at my gym like at stride uh, my studio we offer gift cards and people can buy like a certain amount of a gift card and redeem it towards like a package um, I also know that there's like the sweat app which is a really good app if you guys want to get like a membership to it you can just ask someone for like an itunes gift card and um you can use that gift card towards like an app membership i think it's like 99 dollars for a year but um it's a really good membership to have and it gives you workouts of what to do um if you also want to go to like a local gym a lot of local gym memberships are like around like 10 to 30 dollars depending on where you go um so, but obviously that's a recurring a payment so if someone's gonna like get you a gym membership know that it's probably gonna be a re reoccurring payment and it's gonna be like once a month uh like 30 dollars once a month once a month for like a year until you guys like renew your membership or whatever local studios are really good to get memberships to because individual classes can cost a little bit more money so whether it's like a soul cycle or another spin studio or like a solid core or a yoga studio or i don't know maybe you found like this local gym that has like high intensity interval training exercises if you really like those stuff and you really want classes to that one studio it's a really good idea to ask for packages and gift certificates if the studio offers it or even just a membership to that studio um yeah i think that's a really really awesome gift idea and i would love to not have to pay for my gym memberships and still go to it and um, get the benefits of it so i think that's like the ultimate gift next is a water bottle it's so important to stay hydrated and i think having a cute water bottle is the best way to do it there's a ton of different water bottles nowadays like there's some that even like sync up to your phone that tell you when to drink water i think those are really great but my favorite for the longest time now um has been swell and this is my favorite water bottle ever because this was the water bottle that i bought the day that i was like i'm gonna be healthy um and i'm just gonna do it and i like went healthy cold turkey and this was the water bottle that i bought so to me this is like my health water bottle like every time i drink out of this it just reminds me that i'm being healthy and i'm providing my body with water that it needs so i just really love swell these are the 25 ounce water bottles i think getting the bigger ones are just the best in my opinion because you don't have to like worry about filling it up all the time you only have to fill it up a couple times a day they keep your water cold for 24 hours and hot for about 12 um but i do notice that the longer you have a swell the less time it does keep it cold so now this keeps the cold for like probably 18 hours if i get swell you can prime swell um on amazon prime but also nordstrom has a good selection that's where i always used to get mine but i don't know if it's only my nordstrom but they stopped carrying the 25 ounce and now they really only carry like the 17 ounce which i don't think it's big enough i do like the 17 ounce for like a morning drink so if you're gonna have like coffee or hot lemon water um i really like putting my morning drinks in those 17 ounces but water always goes in my 25 ounce swells and i love these the next thing is an apple watch or a garment of some type so i really like apple watch um i think it's really good but you totally don't need it you can get like a fitbit or like the garment running watches or there's like a ton of other ones but i only like the apple watch because uh i just wanted to like also sync with my phone so if i was putting my um phone down like in the locker room i could just bring my watch with me and not be completely disconnected from everything these are really nice because it tracks your workouts for you so you can like have a log of all of your workouts it tracks your heart rate your calories which i wouldn't always like focus on the calories because it doesn't it's not always accurate um but it's a good gauge of how many calories you're burning um and it's a good way to track your workouts and feel accomplished so totally not necessary you totally do not need some sort of fancy watch to be tracking stuff for you but i think it's just like a nice touch and you know if you can afford to give this to someone i think it's a really really great gift another really good gift is to give a journal and a journal is a really good idea so you guys can log like what you eat your workouts how you feel 
all that sort of stuff. I think that it really helps and this is like a super inexpensive gift and it could be your health journal and it's really fun to look back on journals and stuff and like see the progress that you made. You can like take progress photos of yourself and like tape them into your journal so that you kind of have like a little, you know, time memory of like all your hard work that you've done and um, I think it's really cute. You don't need anything like crazy. You can just go to Target and get like a dollar notebook but I really like these and I totally recommend it. My final thing that I would recommend to ask for for Christmas or whatever holiday it is is a gym bag. I really like backpacks. I used to use like an over the shoulder one but I'm so over that now and I'm really into backpacks. So this one's from Lululemon and they still have this exact style out um, on the shelves right now. Uh, I don't know if they have this pattern, but like this style of backpack, I'm obsessed with it. So it has like this one big opening back here, which is where I put my laptop and my planner. And then in here, it just has like another thing for, you know, clothes or whatever. And then there's like another little pocket, which I put like tampons and underwear in and stuff. And then there's one under here for shoes, which I sometimes use, but not all the time because I just wear different shoes. But anyway, I just think a backpack or a gym bag in general is a really, really good idea. So you guys can carry like workout clothes with you, a uh, change of clothes, your headphones, your workout journal, just like everything that we just talked about. You guys can like throw it into a gym bag. And I think it's a really good idea. So yeah, that is everything that I would ask for if I was trying to get started to get healthy in the new year or even if you're healthy now and you just want like a refresher of things. This is what I would ask for for gifts and you know, you can get this from friends, family, anyone. So yeah, this is what I would what I'd ask for. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you have any more ideas, please leave them down below for anyone else in the comments that might be scrolling while watching this video. And if not, then I'll talk to you guys all on Sunday with a healthy morning routine. Bye guys.